Hello and in this video we're going to be looking at Volsho, which among other things is a great way to share states between your components in a React app. So without further ado, let's begin looking and using this library. So over here we have a rather ordinary React app with beats and to install it, as usual, we're going to go to view and terminal and we're simply going to run npm install Volsho. That's all you need to do to install it. Once that is done, you can close your terminal, go to your file and folder structure into your source folder and create a folder which we'll usually call store. In this folder, we'll create an index.js file or index.ts if you're using TypeScript. Inside the file, everything is very simple. First of all, we'll have our import, which is going to be proxy from Volsio. And we can declare a variable of state equals proxy. And in this array essentially is going to be our shared state. For example, we can have something like amount and give it a default value of zero and some is active and give it a default value of false, something like that. We, you can have any amount of values over here. Now let's use the state in our app. First things first, we can go to our terminal and run the app by using npm run dev. Now we are inside the app. So here we are. This is simply a website I use to test out certain components. I'll actually be making the video on this one soon enough. And so we can go back over here and into one of the components, for example, into the hero section, which is this part. To use it, what we need to do is say const snap equals use snapshot and import it from Volsio. So use this import and say state and import it from, well, it's not giving us a normal import because we forgot to export state out of this file. So we can say export default state like this. So now if everything worked correctly, we should be getting this. Yes. So now we automatically imported state and create snap. So when we want to change one of these variables or any of them, we'll be using state. Snap will be used to read set of variables. So let me demonstrate. For example, we have the sentence, we can change it to the current amount is open up a dynamic block and say snap dot amount. And as you can see, we should get zero. If we change this to say five, we'll get five. However, we can't change snap, we can only read it to change snap. We can, for example, create a button under here. And say, increase amount and we can say on click call a callback function in here and we can say state dot amount plus plus now we have this button and when we press it it increases the amount nothing unusual but the best part is obviously being able to share this data between components for example, we can move into this component service section, which is this part over here. And we can open this up, uh, common this part out and say the current amount is, we'll do the same import as before. So we can say const snap equals use snapshot state as you can see extremely simple and simply say snap dot amount and as you can see when we click this button the number increases in both components so as you can see an extremely simple way to share state between components if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one thank you